and welcome back to another episode of Grab a Beer with Grace Grit. Today we are in Colombia and our special guest is our VP Landon Atkinson. So what's happening? Hi Landon, how is everything going? Good. I'm in beautiful Colombia. Yes. No complaints. Oh, we are so happy to have you here. So thank you for being our guest today. Of course. So the first thing is like, can you describe please to our viewer to our viewers like something about you? I can. About yourself? I can, but not before Agua Diente. <laughs> I'll talk about whatever. Ah, uh, okay, but yes. This is, for, you know, I'm learning about Colombia as I've been here a few times. This is our drink of choice mm -hmm. for just what's local. Do people actually drink this here? Yes. Okay. A lot. Every I weekend. drink it a lot when I come down. Oh, wow. Agua Diente, it's hard to describe what it tastes like. It's got like a licorice type of taste, right? Kind of, not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is not going to be a grab a beer. Okay. It is grab a beer. Grab a beer. Yeah, Club but Colombia. Grab a beer with Club Colombia, but grab a beer with Aguardiente. Aguardiente. Okay. Grab. Okay. <laughs> we got our first blooper. <laughs> my Club Colombia messed up. That's okay. We're still, we're still going. We're still going. Okay. All right. So cheers. Oh my first gosh. First and foremost. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. It's delicious. Uh, it's delicious. Yes. All right, so a little about myself. Uh, as she said, I'm Landon Atkinson, the VP here at Gray Square. Uh, I originally am from Nashville in the great state of Tennessee. I currently live in Philly, uh, where our first location is. Um, what else you wanna know? That's okay. a little about me, where I'm at, where I'm from, uh -huh. what, I, what, I, what I do. Uh, mainly, I work with our uh, management team, so our local managers in Philadelphia Solar, mm -hmm. uh, our our T-Mobile team, um, our CFO Mario, mainly like the the executive team, we'll say, uh, trying to make decisions that give us a better life and a better business to you know grow forward. I try oh. to find talented people, uh, make our campaigns bigger and better, to really sum it up. Nice, cool. You do a lot of things. <laughs> So tell me more about your history with Grace Square. Sure. So I am uh, one of the lucky, lucky uh, founding members of the company that came in super early in mm -hmm. the game. Um, so I was in our industry, uh, we'll call it just, you know, direct sales, direct marketing for various companies um, for my entire adult life, really. Uh, from the time I turned 21 until now, this is kind of what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. uh, the clients have changed, the uh, industries have changed, the products have changed, but at least the core people have kind of stayed the same. Uh, and the line of work has, has been the same. Um, and the path of probably 10 years of that led me to Gray Square, um, where I've been for the last five and a half years. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, so I started from day one. I love it. Day I one. I love it, yes. So, while you're years here, that's something that you really love about your job, about this you know, with Grace Square. I get to drink aguardiente, and they can't fire me for drinking on the job. That's a fun part. <laughs> they can't get rid of me. <laughs> you're right. They can't get rid of me. Um, no, but like seriously, uh, I, I love the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, we 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 got an awesome crowd of people um, that we're lucky enough to surround ourselves with. Um, a million different personality types. I know. Uh, like you complain, like, yeah. oh my god, I know all these people I gotta deal with. Um, <laughs> no, just great people, and the, the common theme that they all have is they all want to be in a place where the future is at least has a shot at being brighter than the present. Okay. Um, all of our people, if they wanted a very predictable mm -hmm. uh, life that they could foresee what exactly what twenty years is gonna look like. They would go work for someone bigger and more established. Um, that's boring to our people. Mm -hmm. Not that it's better or worse, it's just not what our people want to do. Our people want to uh, make an impact and to be a part of the come up of a fairly new company. Uh, that's why they've chosen to hang out with us. And that's something that I always wanted. And so I get to be around people that think like me uh, and that have optimism. Um, and that are excited for you know what we can all accomplish mm -hmm. together and plus our primary role is sales so 
we're all a bunch of fun, loud mouth mm -hmm. people. And you put those people in a room, it's always gonna be a good time. Yeah, so talking so, about that, then I'm sorry, it's like an advice for a new star or somebody who wants to join us. Yeah, uh, so I mean, th th there's a few different areas that they could join us in. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we're, you know, we're a small business that's growing, so we're hiring in a couple different areas. Um, you know, we're hiring in sales, we're hiring in marketing, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're hiring in, in, in recruiting at various times, um, you know, finance, like di different roles open up as, as the business grows. Um, but I think what I would, what I would, the advice that I would give anybody coming in to our world, regardless of where they happen to join mm -hmm. us, what team they happen to be on, what state, whatever, um, is, you know, you're gonna get a lot of independence to make the most mm -hmm. of uh, the job. Uh, we try to put good uh, comp plans and growth plans and incentive packages together to where people that want to work hard mm -hmm. uh, and accomplish the goals that we have and they can align themselves with what we're trying to accomplish that they'll have a good life with us. Yes. Um, they'll get financially taken care of, they'll have opportunities to do more than what they're doing today. Um, you know, regardless of what department somebody may be in or what state somebody may be in or country, uh, we want people that want to grow. So my advice would be, you know, ask the people around you how you can mm -hmm. be better. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, throw ideas our way of what you want your own future to look like. Yes. Uh, and we can help see if that's a possibility and guide you mm -hmm. along the way. Um, so I'd say be curious, work hard, and ask a million questions. Uh, that's good. Wow. Was that a good quote? Was that interesting advice? Yeah. Can you plug that into TikTok <laughs> yes, later? Yes, of course. Right. So share with our viewers like something fun about you, Lanzo. Something fun? Yeah. Like a fun fact? Yes. Um, I can juggle. Mm. That's a real thing. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me, but I can. Uh, like tennis balls. Um, what else is a fun fact about me? Uh, I grew up playing soccer my whole life. I can't really play that well anymore, but I did. Um, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to travel. Uh, I like to, you know, any chance I can get away from mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. um, you know, my, like homing, like my home city, not like my whole life, mm -hmm. uh, like my home city. Um, you know, my, my, my fiance and I like to get away every weekend that we can um, to just, you know, get out of the big city that we're in. Uh, and fortunately for me with this line of work, I've spent a lot of time bouncing around mm -hmm. to different places. So I'm lucky enough to have friends kind of all over the place. Um, I always tell people like, you throw a dart at a map and I got a place to crash when I get there. Mm -hmm. um, and this line of work has provided that for me. So. Those fun facts. I can juggle and I like to travel. Really stupid answers, but I think <laughs> that's not true. So how is how is Colombia now? What do you think? How is the weather, the people, the food, everything? Yes. I know you love Colombia. I do love Colombia. I was on a, a call with um, a, a peer of mine in Detroit uh, about an hour ago, okay. and I, I'm, I'm sitting here looking out our window at this beautiful 80 degree mm -hmm. perfect scenery. And my, my buddy uh, opens the window to like his office and they're getting like nine inches of snow oh. in Michigan. Uh, oh. so say, say I like it better, you know, than there. Um, you know, I, 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 I love the culture. I love the weather, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's perfect all year round uh, for me. And uh, I love learning, you know. I feel like I learn something new about this place every time mm -hmm. I come out here. I learned that my Spanish needs to improve uh, every time I come out here. You, <laughs> I know, hold on, hold on. I love, I love when he just want to give to him like some food to try or something. It's like, hmm, que es eso? I know, I love it. Yeah. It's the best, yeah. London is the best. Okay. See, here's, here's how I've gotten by in Colombia. Uh, I, I, I learned to start every conversation with, I'm sorry, my Spanish is very bad. <laughs> I'm a gringo, I'm sorry. I'm a gringo. <laughs> and usually that gets me by. Like people are more patient with me when I just make fun of the fact that I'm a gringo out here trying my best. Um, that usually gets me by. I know, that's nice, I love. 
So, Landon, uh, something else that you want to plug, like your social media or something like that? Like, uh, you don't need to follow me on social media. Uh, I know. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Cool. Because he is famous like, in my TikTok. Okay, my company TikTok. You know? I'm, I, on social media, I, I post, you know, once a year a, a picture of, of my fiance and I and or our dogs. I'm not posting anything. You don't, don't follow me on anything. Um, on TikTok or on social you know, media pages. Check, check out the company stuff. Mm -hmm. We are always up to cool things. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, Danny and Catalina do an awesome job of kind of showcasing, uh, I think, our personality yeah. on social media. Mm -hmm. I, I do love our, our social media strategy. Because I don't think it's the traditional strategy. Mm -hmm. Like our our direction on it is just show people who we are. Yes, exactly. Um, don't button it up. Don't make it too professional because that's not who we are. Mm -hmm. um, we're just a bunch of people having a good time doing what we're doing. Uh, we like to make fun of ourselves, and you know, it but makes you, for some funny content. Yeah, but you know what? He is our king in TikTok. So all the girls are crazy about him. <laughs> Every time we. I pause anything about him. Okay, Landon, so by the way, thank you very much for being our guest sure. today. <laughs> of course. We're so, that. our last shot for yeah. goodbye. Oh my god. Yeah. Not yeah, let yeah. me do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> our last shot. He's leaving tomorrow. Let's so. Fill it up. Come on. Oh my god. Fill it up. Oh, Get it together. Dios. Aguardiente. Okay. There's the plug. Find somebody down here in beautiful Cali to get you some aguardiente and try something new that you're not gonna get in the States. <laughs> Salud, mi gente. Salud. It's mm. mm. delicious. Yes, so thank you very much and just wait for our next episode. There you go.